Hey everybody, this is Tech Teach again. This is lesson three on the circuit construction kit. In the last lesson we were looking at the Ohm's law formula of uh, current I equal to voltage uh, divided by resistance. In a series circuit like this, you simply add up all of the resistances in the circuit. So you would have 18 ohms resistance plus whatever ohm resistance would be in a switch plus whatever ohm resistance would be in a light bulb or in our case we were looking at a um, a pump in the last one so we we just pretended that this light bulb was a pump now you can look at voltage it'll show you the voltages here or you can use the voltmeter if you click here the voltmeter will pop up and what you can do is you can put your voltage leads red and black. If you get a negative value here, then you've got your leads backwards because this one's supposed to go on the other side. So if you click and drag them over here, it'll simply put a positive value around that. So you can sit here and you can look at the different voltages everywhere you go in the in the circuit. I have nine volts everywhere I put it up until I get to the other side of my resistor. So you see now I have zero volts going here. But here I have nine volts. So the resistance that I have determines how much of a, a voltage that I have. Now this is only a volt meter. Uh, the meters that we have in our classroom they have voltage, they have current, and they have resistance values. They also have a continuity checker, which is a little symbol on it that will allow you to see if, uh, if the wires are connected everywhere. Um, we'll put that away. This, on the other hand, is a non-contact ammeter. Now, you notice that the first ammeter that we put in, we actually had to put it into the circuit. So, when you have when you have a measurement of amps, you're reading and the meter is part of the circuit. But when you have a measure of volts, I click on my volts here again, then I'm reading across the circuit. So it's it's taking a voltage reading, but it's not part of the circuitry. The electricity is not actually flowing in and through. It's just measuring the amount of electrons passing by. But in the ammeter, uh, it has to go all the way through the the meter in order to be able to read it. Well this one is called a non-contact ammeter and so as you move across anywhere in the circuit and this little crosshair touches the circuit it tells you what it is. Well in this case 0.5 is going to be anywhere in the circuit. It's a simple circuit but that's how you use these tools. You can look at it large or small, zoom in and out. The problem with it is it's too big for the screen here to be able to see. You can look at it with values and here are schematic diagrams. So you see here's the for the symbol for a resistor. Here is the symbol for a um, battery and a symbol for a light bulb and a symbol for a switch. If you you can come down here and you can hide the electrons. That will show the, the diagram a little bit better so that you can see how you're supposed to make your diagram look on your answer keys for the class. So that's, that's it in a nutshell. This is a series circuit and in the next lesson we're going to learn about parallel circuitry and how to use um, uh, Ohm's Law formulas to be able to figure out parallel circuits and total resistance in a, in a circuit. So good luck.